Hello then, welcome back to Nagar. Last time on Nagar. I'm just going to call it the Rajput. Welcome back to Rajput. Anyways, last time we had a fairly good start. We vassalized uh, Dunna, we took two provinces. And, uh, well, the goal is basically to continue. The goal is going to Germany. And it's going to be an interesting one. But, anyways, as I said here, we are going to fabricate fabricate a war. We're going to most likely start a war here against Multan uh, with the goal of annexation. They have some fairly rich provinces. They do not have the plus 50% that the Reichsburg provinces does. And they are Sunni, which will help with my religious unity. It will help a lot with my religious unity, which is of course very important to uh, to get up. Currently we have some pretty pretty decent alliances, I dare say. The problem of course is I should probably take Hadoti just to make that uh, connection with the uh, Malva lands. But uh, not too much to do about that. Uh, again, the goal of... We'll take control of the situation, thank you very much. You don't need admin points. Anyways, what I was going to say here is that uh, we have two crappy, crappy rulers as of now. And the goal, of course, is here to get to Germany. First and foremost, conquer the entirety of Germany. Second goal is to uh, more or less form Hindustan and do the uh, that challenge as well. It's going to be an interesting one and we're likely to take the entire game. Uh, which will make it even more interesting, but uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Hopefully we'll not have... Uh, actually got that claim for free. Wonderful. Uh, but as I was saying, hopefully I will not end up in a situation where I suddenly have a... Uh, have a... Uh, well, have France and Germany once I get there, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. It could happen, it could not happen, but... Uh, doesn't matter. We'll finally have 100% piety, which is really, really good, because it means that I can actually start converting lands, or the promises that I take, and actually make it work. We're also going to, I think, do this, just up the autonomy right away, because the unrest is actually pretty damn harsh, and I don't really want to get into trouble with, uh, with rebels, especially as weak as my army is at the moment. And uh, I'm a little bit unsure what to do next. I kind of want to wait here for Delhi to solve their issues and then go off to Multan. Um, but I'm a little bit unsure what we'll do. I would also like a war with Kutch, but uh, Vinagya... We don't really like to fight Vinagya, let's just be perfectly honest here. Um, if I could, I would probably have declared war in Kajarat, but uh, that's not really a likely scenario right now. So, for the time being, what we'll do, I think, is probably improve relations with Dundar so that I can, if I need to, just annex them right away. For instance, if I decide to vassalize Merva in the next war, that could work. But uh, we'll have to wait and see here. Worst case scenario, Mirva will actually end up with, uh, or give me a border with, uh, with Kajarat here, so I can actually do some conquest, Jampur and Sindh. Um, again, not really the best here. I really need to uh, hopefully get myself an alliance with Jampur, so I can use them to my advantage rather than the enemy using them against me. They have about 15,000 troops, so they are definitely a, a, uh, a concern, let's just say that. Delai is solving their issues, however which is good, but they are just protective of me, so they will uh, they will come to my aid if I get attacked. So right now it seems like my best option is just to wait and then attack Meva again once the truce runs out in 59. If anything interesting happens before that, I'll, uh, I'll show you, but uh, I don't expect too many interesting things to happen before it. So we'll see how things go. Well, Deadline just has a civil war here, which is interestingly enough, because there's some rich put patriots here. So, potentially, I might actually get some province for free, which would be hilarious. Um, I'm just hoping that, in that case, go to... Multan just declared war, and Sindh is currently allied with... Uh, a war with Multan, Jampur, Mimat, and Bagel Khand. So, do I want to join Sindh, or do I want to pound on them, is a big question here. Uh, I would definitely ally to who they are war with, Sindh, Dali, and Jangladesh. Delhi doesn't have any troops whatsoever, so against my better judgment, we're going to decline this one, just because of the simple fact that it's not, it's not prudent, it's not smart of me right now to protect these guys. I should attack them because they're basically in the same situation as, uh, well, as most. Well, they're rising in Marva, uh, local pretender, which might actually not be as bad as it sounds. Let's see here. Off with his head. And how good is he? Let's have a uh, let's have a quick gander. Where are my rebels? Three five four becomes ruler. Well, considering that I have crappy crap as rulers, 
I don't think this is too bad, except for the fact they're messing up my missionary, which is the bad thing here. So I think I might actually just go to kill them for that sole reason. Um, yeah, I, I probably have to, all things considered. Because if I do not, I'm going to end up in a very bad situation of, uh, well, potentially hell. And of course, if I want to actually fight Sind, it will be even more important that I get rid of these guys. So we'll have to see what happens there. But yeah, I'm really interested in seeing what these Rajput Patriots actually do. I'm hoping they go into Bangladesh, but uh, it seems to be really unlikely. They might actually flip to uh, Dundar here, which is the would be hilarious, and would actually be really, really useful. So uh, we'll have to see what happens uh, in that scenario. Did I not train some men? Will they be trained now? Kvalia. So a lot of people are actually rivaling me right now, which is concerning. So Delhi actually has an army here, and they're actually winning against Multan right now. Yeah, they are winning quite a lot, quite strongly. So I should probably not have gotten rid of that alliance. It uh, was kind of helpful, but since it's only Delhi now, I think I should be able to beat Sind if I if I try, or probably not. I have to see what we actually end up with, but uh, it's looking interesting. You know, Pur is currently marching into uh, into the area, so it's definitely looking interesting. But uh, I would really have preferred if the vassal here would actually come and help, but I don't think they will. So what we might actually do here is cancel that missionary, move into Jaisalma right away and then just see what happens because right now if I do lose everything then it's not the worst case ever but uh, it might cause some issues of course I'll lose my piety which is one of the bad things but hopefully I'll at least be able to convert uh, Jaisalma before that and as you can see here there's some troops in motion but Delhi is kind of in an awkward spot as is so I think attacking Sind is probably not the worst thing ever but I would prefer to have Delhi helping myself in in some sort of war before that. We'll have to see. If not, then I can of course just use this opportunity to attack Delhi itself. So they actually got Marva. And I don't think I can actually accept anything that they want right now. These rebels will never negotiate. Rebels break country. Well, we'll have to see what happens here. I'm getting some more piety though, but I'm already at 100% so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm really wondering what these guys are going to do because right now they're just being annoying. To be perfectly honest, they're just being annoying. Um, I'll just wait and see how uh, how it pans out. So they actually did go for the capital here, which is interesting. And as you can see, Molten actually destroyed a Sind army. So as soon as we actually lose this war or the peasant peasants. Once the rebels actually take the capital, we're definitely going to clear war and send. And I think we're going to go for straight out conquest. They take whatever we can. And if we get the opportunity, I'll probably turn on Delhi, to be perfectly honest. They are a interesting... Well, they will give me a lot of power to just take them out, more or less. And that is basically what I'm basing the assumption that I will be able to attack them on. But they do have a lot of pretenders as well. So we could get an issue with uh, with them as well. Uh, which of course could be a, a issue. Uh, of course we're going to sacrifice some more admin points here just to convert that province. Lost 125 admin points so far on events. Um, 2 minus 30 legitimacy events and uh, that one. So again, I kind of need to convert these things just for the sake of uh, of living, if you will. So yeah, we're definitely going to take war, the club war and send here. Molten has made that an opportunity. And Jean Pur is currently crushing Delhi to the point where they are have no value as an ally. So everything is kind of going great, all things considered. The uh, as I said, the ruler here, the guy that is currently trying to take everything over, he is a three five four, but I have no idea how old he is, which is kind of an issue. But at least we did manage to convert Jai Salma before he did anything uh, bad towards us, which is good. But we still have these uh, unrest issues, uh, unfortunately. But it's mostly just missionary based. So there we go, they uh, took Naga Ur. Can I now accept the Mons? These rebels will never negotiate. Um, I'm a little bit unsure what happens now. They're 100% towards enforcing the demands. We nation has collapsed. Traitorous, lose his prestige. Shams has died. We got a new, new heir. 344, very good. 354. 
basically I believe I kept everything that I had here but at least now I can do things like this as you can see it's a lot of bonuses for well not really doing much and I can actually insult Molten too just for fun so I lost a ton of prestige I lost a ton of legitimacy but other than that I'm basically unscattered from this I I made it I survived with to some degree minimal losses if you will so that is really really good and hopefully here now I can actually get back up on my feet we're going to the war on as I said here we're going to declare war uh, why the hell are you working on relations in Dunder what, well I know why but you might as well stop we are going to again here use our rulers we've got a pretty good ruler right now as you know 354 that's an upgrade 344 four. that's also an upgrade it's really really good legitimacy of course a real issue here thanks to my prestige so we definitely need to win a couple of wars just for the sake of the prestige. I'm going to lose stability from the royal marriage, and it's also going to give me some war exhaustion. And uh, no allies will join, but I think in this case I just have to go all out. I just have to take the opportunity that is presented to me, and I don't know vassalize an X. We'll have to see uh, if Molten ends up taking a lot of promises here. I'll probably just go for a straight out vassalization, but. Uh, Again, it's necessary that I do make some moves here for my own uh, for my own safety, more or less. Delhi did not join, so I still have the alliance if if I need that. There are still registered patriots occupying ba Batia yeah Batiana Batiana here, so uh, I do have a lot of options, which is of course the best thing ever. And apparently here, Melva did actually win their war, which makes things a little bit uh, a little bit awkward and a little bit interesting. As they only keep their alliance with Bagana, they're not going to vassalize them. That's a yeah, that's a given. And as such, Dunda will most likely meet their uh, doom pretty swift here, <laughs> I think. So yeah, all this uh, it is kind of gloomy to be perfectly honest, but it is what it is. I definitely need to get my legitimacy up though, otherwise we are going to get. Uh, Marva, for instance, is definitely going to be an issue here. I might have to sacrifice some points just to get rid of the uh, get rid of the rebels, for instance. And the religious unity is also kind of weird here. Uh, if it's based on base tax, I guess it makes sense, but it kind of is just a little bit too finicky at the moment uh, for my liking. But uh, once we have Marva converted, then I think it should be uh, should be pretty fine, I think. So. For now, we're just going to have to wait and see what Molten does in this war. If they take these two, I think I might go for Vassalization and then wage a war Molten later. Uh, I'll have to I'll have to consider. But right now, Delhi do at least have an army of their own that is most likely going to get trashed. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to actually sit back here and wait, and uh, we'll see how this all turns out. I don't want to help that Jangler Dash army to do any sieges, and uh, I'm actually really tempted just to declare war here on Jangler Dash. Uh, but uh, I don't think I will, I don't think I really want to. All things considered, we do at least get military tech three earth and rampant, which gives a increase in land morale by half a point, and we can build earth rampant. So it's not all bad. But uh, as I said, I'll just sit back and see what happens. And uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, the points! It's 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 a struggle. So. Vassalization will definitely be my, my option here. I lost two stability points so far. One of my, no, three stability points. Two by event, one by my own uh, design. So this has definitely not been a good start. But I do at least have a proper ruler now. So I guess I can't complain too much. We are getting those points back. And I think I definitely should do a change here. Set uh, admin points as my focus because we're going to need uh, a lot of them just to get to uh, the level that we want to. Uh, piety is important of course so let's get rid of a bit more admin points because that's how we do things and boom there we go now we can actually uh, get three prompts out of this wall which is wonderful but yeah for the time being I'll uh, as I said just sit back and uh, we'll see how this pans out there we go uh, Bata Batiana has actually defected to us and we need to cross that province of course because it is well annoying as hell. The unrest is also incredibly high, 10%, so uh, I definitely need to fix my legitimacy, overextension, war exhaustion, and of course religious unity. So, again here, I think uh, the, uh, I think taking Sint will probably be the best option. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to call this just yet. I think, I'm pretty sure I can just sell it to Dunda, and they'll nil core it for me. That would probably be the best option here. I just want to have to wait for the war against Sint here to end, uh, because I do want to take that uh, promise that well, it goes to C2, so I can actually start making or messing around with the navy 
Uh, although it's not necessary right now. There we go. As you can see, the uh, Moltens or Molten did actually take uh, Bakar, which is not the best thing ever, but it is what it is. So what we're going to do is actually fabricate a claim on said province, uh, which I probably should have done a little bit after doing this, stop the relation improvements. And we're going to go for the annexation. Again, it's probably not the best idea ever. It will cost me 150, uh, 50, uh, 150, uh, uh, sorry, what's it called? Diplomatic power, which is not the best. Again, it definitely isn't, but uh, the limits to what I can do. And we're going to sell Batiani to uh, to Dundar here so they can actually core it for me, which is, of course, going to be uh, really, really useful. Now, if I were to declare war on Molten, I'm a little bit unsure how that one actually go. When did I actually? S yeah, I'm actually probably claim that's how it works. Well, I don't care if Molten gets pissed at me. That's perfectly fine. Do I want to accept lose piety? Uh, not the Delhi one. I'm going to just lose too much uh, soil legitimacy. It's it's not going to be work. It's not going to be nice. Malva will join me, but they will not join. Uh, they will not. Uh, Jumper will not join due to attitude, war exhaustion, and depth. So. To be perfectly honest, what I probably should just do here is to clear war right away. Uh, it's going to be a gamble, and it's going to be very interesting to see how this war actually pans out, if you will. But uh, I think I can win. Molten only has 6,000 troops. I have Malva on my side. And I could probably bring in Delhi later too, so that will probably work just fine. But we are going to continue this next time, because we're out of time. Thank you for watching. Please have a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and we'll work towards Germany next time. Bye.